Why is it that you start a Minecraft world, play for a while and then get bored? Then you get inspired again, start a new world, but not before long you lose inspiration and leave. It's nothing wrong with starting new worlds, but I know some of you wish that you could stick to a world longer. I have been playing in my world for over 5 years now, and I want to give some tips on how you can do the same. Share your progress. The journey in Minecraft is so much more enjoyable if you can somehow share it with others. It can be posting a picture on Reddit, on a Discord server, or privately to friends. Or you can do what I do, make YouTube videos. Just make sure to have fun and don't worry too much about views and subscribers. Mix things up. We all have things we enjoy more than others in the game. I, for instance, love to build and landscape, but I easily get overwhelmed. So then I switch to something else for a while, like some mindless mining. This is my nether outpost, where I carve away the netherrack bit by bit. I do that to improve the rates of the gold farm, but also because it's so satisfying to see the area expand over time. And, strangely enough, so relaxing to just mine blocks. And sometimes you get a nice bonus. Other examples are to try out the redstone contraption, go exploring or caving. Add lore. An overarching story can add a sense of purpose to your builds. Some people like to imagine a specific civilization living in the world and then create buildings that fit into that. I like to just add my own lore as I go. For instance, I call this forest the magical chicken forest because there were so many chickens here the first time I spawned in. So I built an egg fountain with a chicken statue and added magical particles. Over at my desert area, I have used the symbol of the temple to connect the buildings together. And here is my retired donkey boat Fedas, who got his own island and statue. And speaking of Fedas, a great way to make your world feel more alive is to get some pets. Say hello to Skalman, Slemis the Third, Bone Jelly, and Fjellis, just to mention a few. Write down your ideas. In this sandbox game, it's more or less up to you to decide what will happen next. It's easy to feel that you have too many options or no ideas at all. But if you write down your ideas as they come, you will eventually have a long list of projects to dig into when you don't know what to do next. I keep one list of future ideas and one list of things I'm working on right now. Trophies and memories. Saving and maybe even displaying special items will make your world feel more important. One fun thing I also do is to save features that are patched in the game. Drip leaves can't be placed on sand anymore, for instance. Zombies can't pick up glow ink sacks. And you can't put more than one protection enchantment on your armor. Add a twist. When you have built your farms and your standard houses a couple of times, Minecraft can start to feel like the same thing over and over. Make an effort to add your own spin, something fun and uh, unexpected. This is my combined sugarcane and mob farm. Could it be more efficient? Definitely. But it's entertaining. And up there is my chicken farm. They fall slowly through cobweb, grow up and meet my ocelot friends. A minecart picks up the drops underneath. This item launcher is mostly for looks, a way to add life and movement. And this diamond waterfall is completely useless, but I love it. Sort your items. After a while you will have random chests here and there in your world. It can be so satisfying to move everything to a thought out place. Many players like to have one giant storage system. I prefer to store items in different places. More excuses to build stuff, right? Down here are most of the soil types. In this tower I store my wood. This building is for concrete. And so on. It's crazy really that I have been playing Minecraft for this long. And I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. And with these tips, next time you start up a world, try to keep it around for a bit longer. You might be surprised. And if you got curious about the world I play in, I have a summary of the first 7000 days here to the right and a playlist of all the episodes here to the left. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.